Hey Sagittarius, I hope you guys are all doing really well. So welcome to today's reading. This is a general love reading for November 2022. And it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And we are gonna be focusing on your person this time around. So you might be watching, um, if you are a Sagittarius or maybe your person is a Sagittarius, it could go either way. So do keep that in mind, as well as that it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but if you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box below this video. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what is going on with your person here for the first half of November, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the Hermit crossed by the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, um, it's a very clear message here. Um, I'm getting at least, that there is a third party um, involved, um, but we'll see. Let me just get a couple more to see if this shows up again. Uh, for the recent past, we have the King of Wands, and for the near future, we have the Empress. In their consciousness, we have the Four of Cups. In their subconscious, the Four of Wands. Yeah, it definitely feels like there is a third party here, another connection that... It doesn't have to be a romantic partner, but it does feel like it's something very, very solid here with the Four of Wands, all right? Um, for their energy, we have the Two of Cups. For your energy, the Six of Wands. And their hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Pentacles, all right? So, Sagittarius, um, this person that you're dealing with is pretty much keeping to themselves. Um, during this time, I feel like they're really um, being quiet. They're going into this hermit mode, which though I do get a positive feel with this particular um, type of quietness, okay? It's not that they are in denial. I'm not seeing anything like that. If anything, with the Two of Cups being in their energy here towards you, they're feeling a lot of love for you and they feel this connection on a very deep level with you. Um, they're spending some time alone. I actually even get that they're spending time apart, even from the other person that, that is showing up here, which for some of them, it could be a romantic partner for others. For others of them, this could even be a mother figure, um, or some kind of a relative. I do also get that coming in pretty strongly. So it's going to depend. Um, but they're also doing a lot of soul searching during this quiet time. I feel like they're just really retreating from just their external environment. Now, whoever this person is, I mean, they are serving as a barrier, but this is something that this person actually wants to overcome and does need to overcome in order for them to move forward. It does come in as, you know, in recently, you know, they found themselves in a powerful position where, you know, it just feels like, you know, they were actually going after what it is that they wanted, like they felt very strong. I, I And that could even be what kind of led up to them um, pulling away at the moment just from everything and everyone because they felt strong. I feel like they may have started to take action or feeling that confidence and then it could have gotten a little bit difficult and so they... Um, just pulled away from everything just to go deep within and see what their obstacles actually really are. So what they are discovering here with the Four of Cups being in their conscious mind is that this situation that they're in, they're settling. They're feeling very unhappy. There's a sense of strong discontentment and even, even boredom, just feeling like, yeah, you know, this sucks kind of a thing. Um, however, they're holding on to certain, like, beliefs or um it could be family like i said for some of them i feel like it's a it's a mother figure for others of them it could even be like a marriage or something close to a marriage or it just could be a family overall so that is something that that does hold them back or that does present to be as an extra challenge here so like i said they do feel this love for you and for you i mean i feel like whatever it is that you're doing we are going to clarify these cards so we'll get more information, but you're, you're feeling pretty good during this time, even though the situation is what it is, you're feeling pretty good. And I feel like, you know, you're actually achieving things for your own self here. Um, with the eight of pentacles in the position that it is, 
there's a fear that this person has for concerning the practical steps that need to be taken in order to achieve this. But with the Empress being in their near future, I do see them having some kind of accomplishments here, especially in terms of what it is that they're trying to find from within. And this could even be representing you, but let's clarify. Let's, let's see what's going on here. I kind of get the feeling that I frequently get third parties in Sagittarius's reading. Okay, so clarifying the Hermit with the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles again, and the Ace of Pentacles. So whatever situation that they find themselves in, like not only are they not very happy, there's also a lot of stress and anxiety um, surrounding that and surrounding that situation or surrounding that person, especially in terms of moving forward in the practical, just in the practical and how that could, how that could work, but also just, it's like a lot of thinking about um, a new beginning here and how a new beginning could be possible for them. And that is also creating a lot of stress. I feel like, you know, this situation with this other person, it felt like it felt like a good potential at some point, even if it is family, right? Like that it was something good, that it was something positive, but it turned out that it's creating a lot of a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety for them. Let's see that four of cups. There's a lot of concern concerning the um, practical aspects of it. So that is what is stressing them out. So let's see, Four of Cups, the Hanged Man, and the Six of Swords. So yeah, like I said, there's a lot of there's a lot of distancing at the moment. There's a lot of emotional distancing. This is something that they're working on. Um, quietly from within. At the moment, it's like they're not taking much action. They're not showing any like visible signs of um, doing anything. It feels like they're just kind of staying where they are, staying put. So it might appear like they are being stagnant. But like I said, I mean, we have the hermit here. So there's a lot that's going on beneath that. And not only that, you know, it's like they're quietly detaching themselves from this situation because it causes like so much um, unhappiness. I'm also getting that for some of them, this they they could even be thinking about taking a trip, taking some time away, like actually moving away um, and from this situation, like just removing themselves physically from this situation in order to just have some quiet time. Let's see the Four of Wands. So what is going on beneath the surface here? We have the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Okay, yeah, so like I said, you know, it's like they're tied up to something that seems to be like pretty solid, something that has been solid in their lives or it just feels like it's big and important. Um, but at the same time here, on a subconscious level, like they're thinking about love, they're thinking about true love and the fact that they don't have that right now and wanting to take action. Again, with this Eight of Wands, I feel like they're seriously thinking about taking a trip away from this situation, like physically. Wanting to move in that direction because it's like they're being pulled towards love, right? Which I do see here that they have this for you. They're being pulled in that direction. They have a drive for that. But there's this situation that is holding them back. However, it's like, they're more and more wanting to move towards that. Like in their subconscious, we have these cards of, you know, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups. This is all about love and a divine connection even when it's in combination. So yes, there's that stability of the past, right? Of whatever this situation is with the Queen of Pentacles. But then in their subconscious, they're thinking about what, how can I have that? But with the Ace of Cups, with true love rather than with the Four of Cups, which is um, not being fulfilled. So their subconscious is like, it's kicking in overdrive at the moment, and that is what is pushing them to take this quiet time. So let's see the Two of Cups in their current energy towards you. 
the Empress. So yeah, you are that Empress. <laughs> the Empress and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so it's like this person is um, gradually like warming up to you and to this um, concept of you being their counterpart, like you being their ideal, you being the person that they feel like they belong with. So they're totally seeing you as that person, as that Ace of Cups, as that person that, and they're seeing you being very, very, um, just holding you up on a very high pedestal, even if they're being quiet about it. So I feel like a big part of their obstacle, again, has to do with practical aspects, whatever that is, like anything in the 3D, like how can it work? How can, like it just doesn't make sense maybe, or um, they just feel like it would be physically possible, like because of other responsibilities or whatever it is that is attached to this Queen of Pentacles, which is, you know, some third party situation. They are taking some steps though. I just feel like these steps, they're like really small um, because for the most part, they're happening beneath the surface. They're happening more so like from within them on an emotional and energetic level and a little bit less in the physical for now. So let's see that Six of Wands and we have the Temperance and we have the Queen of Swords. All right, so I didn't call out that we do have Virgo showing up in your reading um, quite a bit, actually. Um, yeah, or any kind of an Earth sign, um, which would be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And now we also have Sagittarius, which is you, <laughs> your energy here. So yeah, you're you're feeling pretty good during this time. And if you're not feeling this yet, you know, this is this could be the energy that you are stepping into for the first half of November. I see you feeling actually very, very good. You're feeling very clear in your mind about what it is that you want, about where it is that you stand. And you're not like, you're not feeling weak in terms of this person or of this connection. And you're actually just kind of really focused on your own, um, on your own life and wanting to just, you know, I feel like you have a lot of integrity here. So whatever it is that may have been happening with this person, you're just not, you're not settling for anything less than what you feel like you deserve. Let's see that eight of pentacles. The star and the four of cups. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this person, wow. Okay, first of all, Aquarius. Aquarius is showing up. Um, this person has a lot of desire here for you. So on the one side, we have like what they are wishing for. And then on the other side, we have what they fear. They are holding on to this fear of staying in this four of cups. Like what if nothing changes and then I end up you know, being unhappy. And then at the same time, you know, they have this optimism, this hope that no, I can actually make this work. And I feel like, you know, they're very focused on that. Like how can they avoid staying in this settling unhappiness type of a state? So they're very, very focused on that. Like they're working on that within the, their own self, how to come out of that and how to go after what it is that truly makes them happy what it is that they truly desire. So there is a lot of focusing on that during this time. Um, again, it's happening a little bit quietly underneath the surface. Oh, okay, let's see the Empress for their energy coming up. The Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're holding on to you like no other and they're very, very focused on you, okay? So that is what is coming up. This person is going to be very, very focused on you. Um, possibly even, you know, like, I don't wanna say exactly spying. I mean, this isn't even like a spying card, but I feel like they're just really analyzing the situation and trying to figure out all the details, everything of what might be going on with you and also like how things can work. And there's some stubbornness behind that. Um, again, it feels like, it just feels like it's more on an energetic level, but something is also playing out in the 3D here, as I said, in small, in small steps. Like they're still holding back a little bit, but there's a lot of focus on you and focusing on the details and on how to make this work, right? We got the Eight of Pentacles twice, we got the Empress twice, enough said. 
So, Sagittarius, if this resonated, let's get the final oracle message for you. And we have the Gibbous Moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. And yeah, I mean, with the Six of Wands here in your energy, I I feel like, you know, you there's a goal that you are trying to achieve. Whatever that is, I, I don't feel like it's um, related to this person. You just have like your own personal goal here. Could be related to this person. It could be, you know, that of detachment and finding your inner balance, right? Um, you're very close to achieving your goal, which I feel like it's also affecting them. And they're also close to achieving their goal of really figuring this out and how they can um, go about what it is that they want, right? Which is you and go about that love and have that Ace of Cups, that Four of Wands, <laughs> this Two of Cups, right? They're Empress. So yeah, that is it, Sagittarius. I thank you so much for watching and much love.